So, as you all know, we are connoisseurs of barbecue. Ooh, fine meats. <laughs> and we have some exciting news. Uh, barbecue headquarters in Simi Valley, California actually reached out to us and asked us to be brand ambassadors. Yeah, they reached out to me on Instagram and they asked us to be brand ambassadors and they wanted us to swing by their shop, which is actually like right down the street. From there, we're gonna take you guys along and we'll, we'll see what's going on. Yeah. We see a lot of delicious meats in our future. This is a local shop um, and it's awesome. They literally have everything and anything that you need for barbecue. They even have meat there as well. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's where Vince gets all his meat from. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We've actually been talking about purchasing a smoker for quite a while now. Ever since uh, we had all these delicious smoked meats in Texas, um, Jesse's kind of been obsessed with it on a little bit of a kick. Well, I've always so... loved smoked meats, but when you go to Texas, you like, like re fall in love with them. Yes, because they're amazing there. Hopefully they can advise us in what will work um, the best uh, for living in a fifth wheel. Yeah. Uh, we don't have a lot of space. We don't want something too messy. Um, and it needs to, you know, either you're uh, probably not gonna go with propane. We're not gonna talk about that. So most likely uh, it needs to run on very low voltage. Yes, um, thank you. So we're gonna talk to them and, and see. We'll, we'll see, come, see, come with us. We'll see what we got. System has Wi Fi and it has a uh, meat probe in there, you know, you know, that way with the, uh, the Wi Fi system you can uh, keep track, of, like if you guys are out hiking, doing, yeah. you know, pull up your phone. All right, hey, you know what, we need to start heading back. The meat's gonna get, uh, it's about done, so it's time to head back and get some food. And uh, the nice thing is about this guy, you just, it, the legs will fold up so you can carry it wherever you go, perfect for camping. Wow, that's, uh, so it's super portable, Wi-Fi, and I mean... And you can keep track of your meat temperature while you're out <laughs> hiking. <laughs> oh yeah, no, exactly. That's the one nice thing with the, that Wi-Fi system. Yeah, that's rad. We're super excited. But, this thing's a perfect size for the rig. All right, so we got a brief explanation of this grill. Um, it's gonna be a big learning curve. <laughs> um, but what's awesome, is that you can do alligator clips directly to your battery with a cigarette adapter, and then they have a super long cord. So right now, our trailer, um, we don't have, so, well we have two 200, 200 watt panels. Um, so we're very simple solar. We can go ahead and do that, and it should keep up with this thing. It does not pull very high voltage. I can get all the specs on that um, later on. So it's kind of the perfect solution for our game. So it runs on 12 volt or 110. Actually, there's an adapter here. Um, so you can switch back and forth depending on your needs. Yeah, so when we do get our full solar set up, rather than opening our battery bay and clip the alligator clipping to the battery, we can just use the 110. We could have it on the patio, the ramp door, have it right there, smoking meats, small, compact. And what's amazing is is their customer service here is just absolutely insane. Um, they're in Simi Valley and we'll put the link in the description and we'll give you all the information you need. Take two, <laughs> meats. <laughs> so this is our uh, meat fridge. Uh, we get our meat from Premier Meat Company and Meet the Butchers. Uh, it's who we're partnered up with. Great guys over there. I, I like that. It's, it's meat, the butchers. There are, and if you are, you know, you're not in the area, 
You can go to meetthebutchers.com okay. and you can order directly from them. Awesome, so they so, ship, they yeah, ship. ship. That's amazing. Yeah, and it's usually the next day. And then our so first selection we got is our Wagyu Tomahawk uh, from Australia, Wagyu from Double A Co. Uh, if you've never had one, these things are money. That's yeah, that's uh, that's on our our must do and uh, must consume list. Oh yeah, <laughs> no, these things are amazing. And then uh, actually, here's our number one selling item, the West Home Timber Steak. These things wow. are amazing. I mean, you can just look at the marbling. Wow, that is and, insane. And uh, it's, these things are ridiculous. <laughs> Cooking about 135, pull them off, and it's just, it's money. I'm so excited right now. And then now. Uh, we got our ribeyes. So right now we're stocked up. Usually we keep, you know, a few ribeyes in stock, but right now we okay. have our, you know, because our steak cook-offs coming yeah. up yep. on Saturday. Mm -hmm. So we have a bunch for people to, um, you know, practice, because this is the steak so we'll, they will be using. So that's, so side note as well, while we're here talking about the steaks, they do all sorts of competitions yes. right here in the parking lot all the time. Oh, yeah. You can get all that info on their Instagram. Your Instagram or website. Website. So, and yeah. we'll link all that below. Yeah. Um, yeah. This is really cool. Here, and I know you guys have, have had this. Oh, yes. Mr. Uh, Kobe brisket. That this thing, thing is That's the one right there. Money. So on our Instagram stories a few nights ago, uh, me and my buddy did one of these for it's almost 16 hours. Yeah. And good. it came out perfect. So good. Oh, I'm yeah. so excited. Will that fit in our room? Oh, <laughs> you might be able to with a little, a little trimming. Uh, trim it a little, a little bit. trimming, you know, yeah. right here, okay. make it a little more aerodynamic. There you go. I think this guy, would, it would fit. Oh, wow. That so. is amazing. So you guys are open seven days a week. Yep, seven days a week. And meat is pretty much stocked up on a weekly or daily uh, or how are you? Uh, it depends on how sales go, but usually every Friday we have a fresh order okay. and then at least once like a Tuesday or Wednesday. Okay, so you're um, pretty much always stocked order. up. That's yeah. awesome. And we do special orders, so if there's something that we don't have mm -hmm. and you need, usually we can get it next day. Awesome, so, which awesome. is awesome. That's, that's great. Like I said, we told you guys, they have everything here and it's in Simi Valley, everything. The next day. This appears to be some sort of tea handle, some sort of tool, probably for putting the grill together. What do we got here? This is our little chimney that gets bolted on to the top of the grill. I believe there's somewhat minimal uh, uh, assembly. Um, so here's the chimney. Very heavy duty. Feels really good. And then we have the grill in here. It's a nice plastic bag to protect it. All right, would you look at this thing? It's got the nice stainless. It's got the legs that fold down, um, up and down as handles absolutely awesome the way they designed this thing it's such a great setup i saw in another video that you gotta whoopsies you gotta flip the handle no big deal we got power cord for the 12 volt we have the adapter cord the grill this is where this is where your pellets go have a little wi-fi antenna have the wi-fi um thermometer this is where the pellets go this thing is super sweet this is our 12 volt power cord so right now considering we um, we don't have a full solar setup on this trailer yet um, yet with an inverter and whatnot so probably what I will do because it's the simplest is we'll just alligator clip We'll just alligator clip to one of our house batteries in the trailer and then it comes with a cigarette lighter adapter 
and then what it has is a super long cord. There's a few things that you have to do uh, before startup. One is flip the handle, which is pretty easy, self-explanatory. Um, they actually give you the 10 millimeter and a 12 millimeter wrench, uh, what you need. This is pretty cool, it's actually a pretty nice tool. So we flipped the handle. The next thing we did was we put the chimney on, pretty simple, three bolts, pretty easy there. Um, now we're getting ready to do the first startup, which is one of the steps is priming the firebox, which is down in here. So we're gonna put these in there, obviously without the bag, I'm just kind of showing you. Putting that in there, and then we're gonna put the heat shield over that will be the next step. And then last but not least will be the drip tray, which they say you can cover it with foil if you want. Um, I think I'm gonna skip that step. I'm just gonna put it right in there. We went ahead and primed the firebox. And I also took it down off of the patio considering this is our first startup. The instructions are fairly simple. They're right here. Uh, basically, you have to prime the firebox, fill the uh, hopper uh, with pellets. Um, I also decided to put it on the ground just because it's our first startup. And it's super simple. It tells you you have to do this and do that. Basically, it's priming right now. I don't know if you guys can hear it. Um, so it's priming up and then what we're gonna do is it's gonna bring it up to 150 degrees and then from there it's telling me to put it up to 350 for 30 minutes essentially to remove any residue from manufacturing process um, and then we can power it down and then we're just ready to roll for our beers this thing is perfect if you like smoked meats oh it's doing something there I like smoked meats and vegetables. This is awesome. It's got a nice little side tray that I just installed. Super simple. Um, and the power. There's so many different power options. You can see right here, it's just got the cigarette lighter adapter here. And I just ran it into my trailer because right now I'm on shore power. Um, but either way, I mean, either way, it's so simple. So far, this thing is perfect. Yeah.